competing here in two months, I think, in Tennessee, and it'll be pretty fun. Lastly, I have OSCP certification. It's like an entry-level hacking certification. It's not too important, but it kind of gauges a little bit of scope. What's up? I'm Ryan. Uh, my work experience, I am a secure configuration engineer at the Minnesota Judicial Branch, which is just fancy words for I do CIS uh, benchmarks all day. So fun. Um, personal projects, uh, they eat up a lot of my time. My main one is for Sprinet Offensive, which is a C2 framework I made. And as for teams, um, I've done CPTC last year. I'm the team captain this year. And then uh, we did DEF CON last year for the uh, CDAI Red Team, where we hacked all of us, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I'm Hunter. Uh, we say that I look like uh, Hideo Kojima, so I, I decided to throw that in there. Um, well, my work experience, so summer 2023, I started in the lab as the, under the Heartland project as a penetration tester. Right now, I work as a pen tester for Project Boundary, also in the Mad Lab. My projects, I do a lot of like home lab stuff, and I do a lot of like graphics and videography. Um, the, the teams that I was on, so uh, DevCon 30, I did uh, the AI Red Team, and then just over the summer I, with Ryan, I did the uh, DARPA AI XCC, and then I'm also on uh, CPTC for this year. Alrighty, I'm sure you guys have heard of Codebreaker already, but in case you haven't signed up, please go sign up. It's a pretty sick NSA competition that uh, puts you in a real world scenario with cool NSA stuff on a, like a, a cool project. Um, the more people we have signed up and do projects or do challenges, the more points we get, which makes us look a lot better like nationwide. So please go sign up if you haven't. Um, but yeah, it's a great opportunity to learn some cool stuff and uh, Contribute to uh, DSU team. Ten? Nine. Nine. You get nine points just for verifying with the Discord bot, and that takes like five minutes. So you should go do that. The first challenge is definitely doable for everybody in here, too. So. Yeah. All right, now to the fun part of the meeting, which is probably going to take up most of the time installing tools. So we're going to give you some flash drives, um, which totally don't have malware on them. I'm kidding. Uh, it's just VirtualBox and Kali, and we're going to teach you how to install a Kali VM from a pre-configured image. Um, that sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is, but uh, we'll, pa we'll be passing out flash drives here in a second here for you guys. I'll take this one. It's okay if everyone doesn't get a flash drive. We'll just be copying them or some files off those flash drives first. So, um, when you get one, go ahead and copy the files, not cut. Copy the files onto your host. You can uh, select them, right click. Um, that's fine. Copy and then paste somewhere on your host. Again, please do not cut, just copy. It might take a second. Oh, yeah. You guys have a Well, you're on 
And then once you've copied the files, if you want to pass the flash drive to a friend or someone who hasn't copied them yet, just feel free to do so. Make the process a bit easier. All right, just to gauge where we're at, how we're looking, raise your hand if you do not have the files copied over. Okay, cool. If anyone has an extra flash drive, please give it to them if they don't have one already. Wow. 
So his is saying it's malware, the virtual box image, like Windows Defender. So like, you know, can you override it? I think so. But You're not giving me malware, right? Did I actually upload that? Ryan, no <laughs> Windows Defender's nuke in your virtual box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to learn how to disable the malware. Is it seriously? On yes, that it one, is yeah. on his, at least. On his, at least. The virtual box portable is going to be Yeah, I see why. Yeah, so, yes. Yeah, oh, he's stuck. We're going to shut off the fender real quick. Make sure this isn't something. Anyway, you follow that, you can miss it. Okay. Let me know when you guys are. It's really funny. Is this yours also? I try to extract it. I'm just going to let you see it. Oh, you're using our You piece of With those defenders, they're hosting the Yeah. However, we're just going to have them never done You don't need it. You don't need it. They actually are only uploading malware to you. Oh, God. That's okay. It's my goal to get a lot of Test out how good the technology is. Yeah, we're probably just going to be like, yeah, so here's a fresh drive. Exactly. I just got my bag to be Nobody else has been able to call it out. I get figured out. This is my So they're passing around USBs, which may or may not have malware. <coughs> and then it has the it has How are we looking? Hack. Who's good? Who's yeah, hacking good? Hacking. Well, <laughs> hacking or getting hacked. <laughs> oh, that's right. He doesn't lock his I was saying I'm not. He doesn't have the Jorgen. <laughs> okay. He doesn't have it. Yeah, his fucking yeah. his roommate saved me, right? I was remembering how they were. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
On the site. Uh, so honors get, honors gets first dibs. Oh, they do? That's so cool. Honors gets first dibs. Um, and so eventually, I have some arms on the back of the It's fine. Y'all should come and finish. I know it's close. It's like wisdom. Go down to the funeral hall. Turn right at the funeral hall. You'll see the sign that says funeral hall. Okay. It's a block before the light. Yeah, I'm just gonna look at so yeah, that's smaller. It's a block before the light. You turn right at the funeral hall. You'll go block. There's a church on your right. We're on the left. And it says Van Ness. Okay, so where, where is Egan? So Egan, so going there. Yeah. Oh, and then right there. Oh, it's my house. 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 Oh, it's <laughs> Into that over right there. Oh. <laughs> It's a very secure cow. Well, the thing is, like, it's a piano. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just one step at a time. You didn't do so. Okay. Yeah. What it says that set up so Give it a second. We're going to go to the city. 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 We're going to you're asking in the wrong yeah. place, bro. You're asking in the wrong place. Okay, Everybody in here would probably have yeah. 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 yeah.
drawer. Okay. And then extract all. Give her a second. Of course it is. Sorry. Just click next. It should extract in the current directory. And uh, give that give that a second.
He's a freshman, so and then I was like, wait a second, he's a finance major. I don't know. Oh, my God. 
Did not what? Uh, get to a desktop environment, Cali. This guy. This guy. We're not gonna raise our hands, but it's this guy. <laughs> this guy got to the phone. <laughs> if you need help, please raise your hand, and we'll have someone come help you. For everyone else, we're gonna do a. This the non malware one. Do a quick install of tools. Um, so go ahead and click the button at very top. Seven. Black box. That is gonna be your terminal. And then once that is open, click on it and go ahead and type in that exact line. And then once you have that typed out, go ahead and hit enter. If it gives you an error about not having curl, let me know.
And then basically the person who was supporting Exegetical was having a hard time, right? So somebody else came in, they were like, hey, I'm going to take this program over for you. And he put his own back door in. So from a time period, there was a lot of Linux machines that just had a back door and they were just And the really interesting thing about it is how they found it. So a researcher at Microsoft, I think he was actually a system, system administrator. Yeah. He noticed a bunch of CPUs. So the, the, the software so he started investigating the files. Most of the time when you see CPU usage, you don't automatically assume malware is on your computer, but it, I do. this dude did, and it works out. Another big one, one that I was personally happy with the worst, was the good old CloudStrike Sillybird sensor, as so aptly named by Hunter, aka CrowdStrike taking down the entire internet because they felt like it. Um, yeah, it should go to Dusko. So, from what I understand, there was a bad content update, which um, either the CrowdStrike Falcon Legion, which is like the part that monitors all of the stuff on your computer, runs in the kernel space, it crashed, and as such, Windows is designed to crash if there's an error in, in the kernel space. Um, and they took down everyone. And it was a big deal, and they're getting sued to uh, Oblivion in the back right now. Microsoft is not down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Crowd strike. We're also, what? Yeah. Some computers down. And then we say, hey, we did this. So the next biggest one this summer was the airport. ID6 vulnerability. Basically, there was interoperable with the IPv6 stack. You're able to send a specially crafted packet. Yeah, I mean, I was even louder. Am I not loud enough? No, I'm kidding. No, why? Louder! Louder! All right! All right, we got, I can get the end of the uh, the other one is that there was a huge data breach. I'm sure you heard about this. Uh, everyone's social security numbers got leaked. <laughs> yeah, go US. Um, that one might come back to haunt me. But uh, basically, you can go and find all these. So if you want to like go Brad Pitt or something, you can because his number, social, yeah, phone number, social, address, the whole shebang got leaked. Birthday. Birthday. Yeah, you could become Brad Pitt if you wanted to. Let's go. Yeah. Um, yeah, so a lot of, at least I checked mine and I'm good. So a lot of younger people seem to be not gosh affected by it, but a lot of people are like over 25 or 30 ish, so have their daily. So keep a close eye on it. Keep an eye on your credit for that one. That's the Emory 2 game sign, don't you remember? Did I ever show that to you? No, you did not. Okay, so it's an E, E, and then a 2. Too cool for Emory 2 gang signs. Oh, yeah. Most people can yeah. have it today. If that install is taking too long, go ahead and give it a, a control C. We can cancel it and do it later or install tools as we go. Um, but please do feedback. Otherwise, computer club people are going to kill me. So do the feedback. It's not malware. Um, Finally, you've got one. I thought I was going to malware. Oh my god. Leave permission. That's broken. Officer here. So Rain, you made the form. I'm pretty sure Dick, knowing Derek, 
I don't want to log with my DSP now. I know. Here was my point that I'm going to have a conversation with you. It literally worked for me. Guys, please log into your DSU email. It'll be a last form. Sorry. Sign in with your DSU email to access that form. Microsoft fixes Windows. Huh? You work for Microsoft fixes Windows. What? You work for Microsoft. Come over here and fix Windows there. <laughs> I, I was on a team that 